Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Sometimes the best things come in small packages. Stay tuned. we're going to be making today and as I said in my opener sometimes the best things come in the smallest packages and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today welcome to my channel I am so glad that you decided to stop by welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends thank all of you for choosing to be here with me in this moment today this is what we're making and boy does it pack a punch I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all. So here is a closer look at today's project. When finished, it is going to measure three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it's approximately three eighths of an inch deep. And this is a really nice autumn theme project. It is great for well wishes, pick me ups, however you choose to use it. I am going to go ahead and just open it. And this is the inside. So this is what you'll see when you open it. We have a space here for writing, or you can tuck the photograph in behind the sticker because I haven't stuck it all the way. Then over here, we have a hello fall greeting. But this is really cute because when you put it down, it actually expands out. And when it opens this way, we have wonderful messages. But when we open it this way, we have a nice folio that we can create beautiful little pages in which we can tuck some stickers, some ephemera, some mini cut aparts, however you choose to use it. But I think this is awesome for a pick me up as a birthday gift because I've added a notch here and we're actually able to tuck in a gift card here at the back. And then we have a little pocket here in the front that we can also tuck some goodies in. It's not wide enough for a gift card, but this section here in the back is. Y'all, this is going to be so easy to make, but remember, sometimes the smallest things are the best things. And y'all, I think that this is really, really, to steal a phrase from Martha Stewart, a good thing. So here is what we're going to need to make it. I'm using a medium weight chipboard for this project, but you can use cardboard, shoe boxes, cereal boxes, anything that you want to use that might give you a hard board consistency. I have two pieces already pre-taped, and these pieces measure three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I have this beautiful espresso chocolate, and this measures three by four. And then I have a white mat for this, and this measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters. These are both cardstock. And then I have a piece for the jacket. This measures five and a half by eight. Then I have a piece for the inside, and this measures six and three quarters by four. And these are both decorative double-sided cardstock. And then I have two eight-inch pieces of crinkle seam binding. Then I have a page of cut-aparts, and I'll be showing you how to cut apart so that you can create the look that we have in our project. And for those of you who don't know, this is a cut apart sheet, also known as a journaling sheet. You can take these sheets, you can cut these individual pieces apart and use them in your crafting, or you can do as we're going to do today. We're going to keep them combined to get that accordion fold. And I'm actually going to use this piece because it has the colors that I want. And this piece has a blue background to it. But I will show you how I cut it for those of you who are not familiar with cut apart. And then I'll be relying on some stickers as my decorative elements. And I'll also be pulling in some scrap to get my pockets and my background mats for the stickers that I might mount to mats. So let's go ahead and set everything to the side and I'm going to show you how to cut these cut aparts, especially if you're new to paper crafting. So the cut aparts on this sheet measure three by four with four being the long side. So all I'm going to do is align this at four and I'm going to cut. Sometimes the measurements aren't exactly true and you might have to go back and trim a little bit. But if you wanted to use these separately, you just place them on the line and cut. That's how easy it is for us to work with cut aparts. So we're going to go ahead and cut my pre-scored sheet and I'm going to score it at three, at six, 
and at nine. And then it's just a matter of deciding which side you want to be the front and which side you want to sacrifice to glue to the actual chipboard. So it really is up to you. I'm just going back and giving this a really good crease. And I think that I want this to be the inside when it's open. So we're going to set this to the side and we're going to go ahead and make the jacket. So to make our jacket, we're going to need our two pieces of decorative cardstock, the piece that measures six and three quarters by four, and the piece that measures eight by five and a half. We are also going to need our crinkle seam binding or ribbon, whatever it is you're choosing to use. And y'all, I can't decide on this one if I want to go with the crinkle seam binding or this beautiful chiffon ribbon. I'm leaning towards the chiffon ribbon. I'll make a decision in just a minute. So y'all, this time I want the polka dots to be the outside. So I am going to remove the tape from my tape backer and I'm going to place this down and I am coming in about five eighths of an inch on this side. And we're going to place this one down and I'm going to place it down with about three eighths of an inch spacing in the middle. Now I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to take my stylus, press it against the chipboard, and drive it into the paper to get a score. And you guys will probably notice over the coming days that things around me are going to change a little bit. I am actually moving studio to a new location. So we're just going to keep going around and making sure that we add a little score, especially if you think your paper might crack, then go ahead and train that paper to fold over. Now, moving for me isn't something that I wanted to do. It's basically something that I'm being forced to do. And I'll share that with you guys in an upcoming video. So what I'm doing now is I'm mitering my edges and by mitering, all I'm doing is going in at a slight angle and I'm making sure that I leave enough paper so that when I fold over, you don't see the chipboard. But if you do happen to see the chipboard, just take one of those triangles that you cut out, glue it down so that when you fold over, that will cover the chipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some tape using a tape runner to these outside edges. And so we're going to fold over our tops and sides. Then I'll use my big old spatula just to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck. Then I'm going to take my wide tape and we're going to place some tape right here. And some tape. Right here. And then we're also going to place tape around the edges of our liner piece. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And on the liner piece, I do want that floral paper showing. So I am going to place my tape on the polka dot side. And now I'll peel away the backer sheet from the liner, as well as the jacket cover. And now before we place down the liner, we need to decide whether or not it's going to be chiffon ribbon or crinkle seam binding. I am going to lay down a piece of the chiffon just to see the look that it gives me. So I'm going to take this piece and we're going to put it right there. And I think I'm going to go with it. It's larger than the crinkle seam binding, but I like the way that it looks. So I'm going to take my tape and just place it over the top because I don't want that coming undone. Then I'm going to take some glue 
lay some glue right here because I don't like for my ribbon to pull away from the paper. So we're just going to put that right there. It will help to hold that ribbon in place. Then I'm going to take this piece, put it right there. Let me just go ahead and add some glue while I have the glue out. And y'all know that I use Reptile Adhesive. Just a reminder, if you are running low on your adhesives, go ahead and place your order because when the temperature drops below 40 degrees, Reptile will not ship. So if you want to make it through the winter, especially if you're in a colder weather area, go ahead, place that order for that Reptile Adhesive so you won't run out. So I'm going to place some tape right there as well. Let's peel away the tape backer and peel away this one. And now we can take our liner piece and we're just going to place it down like that. And I'll use my big old spatula to go in and get everything nice and stuck. Go in and define my spine. Then I'm going to take my book and just fold it like that very gently, just making sure that I have a nice spine crease. And then I'll use my big old spatula to really square off that spine. And I think this is going to be very cute. Just have to remember to keep my butterflies upright. So now when we take this piece, we'll be mounting it right there, and then we'll mount the white paper over here. But if you want to do any type of decorating to yours, go ahead and do it before you put it in the book. It'll just make it easier. So I am just cutting my rectangle to make a pocket. And now I'll check this pocket to see how it's going to fit. And I'm good with that. Then I'm just going to match it up with that other piece of scrap. And now I've cut out two little pockets. And this time I'm going to put them in like this. We'll leave this piece for a nice big message. And then I'm going to cut out a pocket for the bag. Very, very easy. And so there is my back pocket. Let's go ahead and glue our pockets down and then we'll add a few more decorations. So I am just going to take this piece, add some glue, place it in the back like that. Then I'll take some glue, add it to three sides of this piece. And these pockets are just guides. If you don't want to put a pocket in yours like I'm doing here, you don't have to. It's just a guide to give you an idea on some of the things that you can do when you're paper crafting. What you're making by no means has to mirror what I'm making and you don't even have to use the same materials that I use if you don't want to. And so now I have those pieces down. And so now I'm going to bring in my sticker sheet and I'm just going to place down some really cute stickers to sort of decorate this. How you do it is completely up to you. Then I'm going to take this one and place it there. It really is, what do you like? There is no right or wrong when you're decorating. This is a small piece, so I'm not going to go overboard with a lot of the things that I actually put in here, but I am going to make sure that I have some stickers that speak to the project that I'm making. And I'll take this one. We're going to place it right there. And before I place anything on the back, I need to go ahead and just notch out a little opening for the gift card. So I'm using my oval punch and I just made a little notch, nothing major, but you'll definitely know that there is an insert here. 
So then I'm just going to take this piece, put it there, take this piece that says Hello Fall and put it there. So you're able to see how I use my sticker sheets to decorate, very easy. So now I'm just going to take my glue and I am going to place glue on this edge, the bottom edge, and the side edge. And I have room for a gift card. And so now I'm going to take this and we're just going to place it down like that. I'll open it to get it nice and stuck. And then I'm going to take my mat. This one measures three by four. The white one is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I am just going to take a little bit of glue since that's what's out. We're going to add some glue. And then I'll take this piece and we're going to place it down. And then I'll add some glue to the back. And we're going to place it right there, like that. Then I'm going to find me a cute little sticker and I am going to put that sticker on this piece and I'm going to work from the same sticker sheet that I've been using. So I'm going to take this one that says blessed and we're going to place it right there. And I'm really not burnishing that down. In case you want it to place a picture, you can lift up, place the picture, and then put that back down if you want, or you can remove it. So I am going to bring in this sticker pack that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it's from the Paper Studio. It's called the Months of the Year. And what I like about it is it takes every month and gives you some stickers. You can see that I haven't really been using this because when you have a whole lot in your stash, you tend to overlook some of the things that you do have. That is one of the reasons why I have stopped hauling because I have so much that I am using it in my paper crafting. I've been doing this for decades, so my stash is pretty large. And to continue to haul and add to it just does not make any sense to me. So that is one of the reasons why I have stopped doing hauls because you guys could never ever possibly see me use all of the things that I would haul. So I have used some of the fall stickers and I'm just going to show you really quickly how I use these. So I would just take one of my stickers, some of my scrap, create a little border, Cut out that border, and I'm just freehand cutting this. You can place it in your cutter if you want. And now I can take this, and I can place it in one of my pockets, just like that. And I can go through my book, because I really only have three pockets. I can go through the book and just grab another one. This one with the ladies, I think it's really cute. I'm just going to trim out here. I can take the ladies and we can put them right there. Then Hello Fall is there. So I think what I'm going to do is take the one that says Fall is in the air. and just mount it. You can use some white mount if you want. I am just using up some scrap. Trim around it. And now I can take this one 
and just tuck it in. You can add as many things to yours as you want, but y'all, isn't that cute? Wouldn't you love to receive this in the mail, even if it did contain a gift card? This is a very upscale but simple way to give a gift card. Or if you know someone who might be in the hospital and you want to send them something to cheer them up, why not make something like this themed around um, getting well or getting better or thinking of you? There are so many different ways that you can use something like this. And there are so many cut aparts out there for any season, any reason, any gender, any one. So make your paper crafting work for you, but make sure that when you are paper crafting, that you are having fun because really that is what it is all about. So I am tying myself a nice little bow using this beautifully soft chiffon ribbon with the frayed edges. And so y'all, there we have it. I am going to take just a little sticker, place that sticker on the front. It says pumpkin patch. How stinking cute is that? So easy to do. I know that you're going to have so much fun doing these. So simple. Don't waste those cut aparts. If you have them in your paper pad books or you have bought single sheets, go ahead and pull out those cut aparts and start using them because they definitely have a place in our paper crafting. I love cut aparts and I use them all the time. They are a very quick and easy way to get the message that you want to convey. So I am going to bring this one back in so that you can see how that looks. I'm going to open this one so that you can see the messages that this conveys. We have grateful and thanks. We have a beautiful pumpkin floral bouquet, and then we have gratitude. So even if you want it to write here and photo here, you can do that as well. But what a wonderfully thoughtful way to send a message of gratitude, of thanks, of love, you'll definitely bring a smile to someone's face. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, we're growing and we'd love to have you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. As always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.